Time for entertainment news, and yeah, not terribly excited about this, but the I'm British, not either. I, dude. <laughs> I, the British are, though. Are, yes, right? <laughs> there are people who love the band yes, Oasis. There are. They're going back on tour. The group announced the 2025 comeback tour after a 15-year hiatus on its website earlier this week. Starting July 4th, Oasis will play 14 dates across the UK. And they broke up back in 2009 because the brothers, Noel and Liam Gallagher, could not get along. Well, wait, so are they getting along now, apparently? Well, <laughs> I have my theories, right? Okay. So they didn't speak to each other for years yep. after the breakup, but they did perform the Oasis songs solo during these gigs and repeatedly criticize mm -hmm. each other in the press. Oh I think they're out of money and they're like, well, gosh, we need to do something. So well, let's honestly, get back I together. feel like that's what all these reunion tours are know, about right? because I feel like all of a sudden lately, within the, like after COVID, it was like, oh, let's all have reunion tours. Let's retire and then come back. <laughs> right, exactly. You know, like, Bob Seger, yes. God bless him, but like, come on, people. <laughs> exactly. So Oasis, not not on my list. Just not saying. on my list either. I just, you guys, just keep fighting and go away. No. Sorry. All right, well, we're switching gears here, Michelle. <laughs> Pizza Hut, they are introducing what they're calling a new box that makes for a quick and easy oh. dining setup for people moving to new cities. Now, the pizza <laughs> chain says that they're going to be offering what they're calling a moving box table. Now, the pizza box is actually folding into a mini cardboard table. It's available for a limited time, and they say that the promotion is to help out some of their customers who are, you know, during the peak time of, of moving year. Okay. So they say, but of course, the only times or only places that you're going to be able to get it are oh. Dallas, Charlotte, Orlando, some of the bigger popular cities they say that people are moving to. Um, they're also saying that if you are in these cities, you get the box free of, you know, with charge. It just comes with everything for their carryout orders of a large menu price pizza. I mean, it could be like a picnic thing, I know. right? I'll be honest, I feel like it for like if I had younger kids and we got that box, right. it would be more of like a color. <laughs> like we well, might. sure. Or like you can have them yes. sit on the floor sit and eat on off the that floor. Right. pizza box table. Uh, I'm just curious if it'll take off and if they'll expand it or mm. just, we'll see. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, we have a follow-up story for you this morning. We've got a winner. Yes, a winner. <laughs> a Massachusetts dog who dismantled a kitchen cabinet is the winner of the 2024 Hambone Award. Nationwide Insurance crowned Luca as the winner of the most unusual pet insurance claim of the year. Luca pulled out an entire <laughs> cabinet to get into the trash that was hidden inside oh. and then attempted to eat all of it. Of course. Um, got some runners up too. Lambo, a mixed breed from North Carolina. He had a puzzling snack, consuming more than 250 jigsaw puzzle pieces. Oh my goodness. Um, but very <laughs> kindly only ate the loose pieces, did not eat the border or the corners that had already been put together. Um, after an emergency veterinary visit, they were able to recover all of the puzzle pieces without surgery. Probably not going to use those again. Probably not. I was going to no. say that that puzzle may be a Yeah, just throw trash. that one in the trash. <laughs> That's right. um, and then Archie is a mixed breed pup from New Jersey. He broke through a vintage plate glass door and injured his paws while trying to warn his family about the mail carrier. <laughs> yeah, yeah, despite a very gruesome scene Ooh. created in the house, I'm sure that was a mess. Um, yes. His injuries, thankfully, not life-threatening and just required a few stitches. I'll be honest, those dogs are so sweet and so cute, but that's probably not a list that I would want. No, <laughs> no, I'm perfectly on. fine to not be on that list. So more power to those pet owners.